You're such an asshole! Banging out the videos at assholeconsulting.com so I can go hiking later when it heats up in Silverton, Colorado, and I did not know the elevation here is 9,300 feet, and it's cold. There's no heat in my room. I re I'm reminded of being in my 20s in Minnesota. Hey asshole, yes, this is kind of long, sorry. My name is Noah, repeat customer, uh, who asked for the Pocahontas video. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren. Anyways, I needed some help on college advice. Some of the information I give here is from a previous video called No Rush to Graduate from College That You Did. I originally went into college to become a political science major, then switched over to an economics major, then switched yet again to a computer science major. The problem is by switching to computer science since finding your channel, knowing that both previous majors were absolutely worthless. Uh, thank you, by the way, saving my ass big time. By the way, I'm the only child and have no older brother. My parents are separated, and they are the type to say any degree is great. Remember, we don't do anything here at Asshole So Remember, this is a scam, according to perpetually unemployed people who like to mock and ridicule me. We, we shan't mention names, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out. <laughs> I love when losers criticize me about, about self-employment. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... It's like someone having AIDS and herpes lecturing me about safe sex. You do Okay. Uh, I will not have enough time to apply for transfer for the fall of 2018 deadline next year and get all my prerequisites done. Since you can only apply during the fall quarter of each year at the California college system, this means I will not graduate until 2022 if I wait until 2019 to apply. Should I wait this long to apply? And maybe get some associate's degree in computer programming at my community college. Wait, should I wait this long and apply and maybe get some? That's the only thought I that I have come up with, but I'm not sure what to do at all. If you can help me, that would be great. P.S. to all your viewers, please say in the video to never move to California. They do not have as much white guilt here, but they have U.S. citizens guilt in the way they give out all the tax money to illegal aliens, benefits such as health care, schooling, housing, etc. while the taxpayer gets fucked. Thank you. No. All right. Um, you want to become a computer programmer or a computer engineer? I have some follow-up questions. Currently, a community college and the taxpayers pick up the tuition tab and I get a federal aid for books I do not pay for. Awesome. <clears throat> I was thinking a first major computer engineering but after some researching, some of the materials, it seems pretty dry and kind of boring. Well, yeah, dude, that's that's how all high-paying degrees are. If you want to be in typical American suburbanite chick, I think I'm good at marketing and good with children. I want to open up a restaurant or coffee shop. I want to play with chocolates and puppies. How can I make money in that? Then expect to get shit pay. But if you want to go work in a coal mine or work on an oil field or get shot at or study calculus and, uh, and, and physics and chemistry and all that other stuff, that's where the money is. And it is boring. It is boring. Uh, I'm leaning towards the programming route. If by chance you recommend in the video, I stay as long as it takes and maybe even get some AA degrees. Here's my community call. All right. <clears throat> programming, I, think, I seem to be mentioning this once every three videos. So let's talk about programming. Once again, the great thing about IT is that it is more certification and skills based than it is degree based. Yes, it helps to get a degree. I am not saying don't get a degree. Uh, but what I am saying is that if you go into IT, you have the benefit or the option of putting college on the back burner while you skill up and certify up. Now this brings, this gives you several other options. The cheapest of which is to self-study and self-teach yourself programming languages. This is hard, it takes a lot of self-discipline and control, but it's free. <clears throat> if you lack that structure or that discipline, and I understand because it does help to take a couple community uh, college classes like you're doing now to understand the context by which, it, like, it's like mechanics and computer geniuses, they're frankly all assholes. When you got this innocent question, like, you don't have the years of jerking off the porn and building your own computers back in the 80s because your parents weren't rich. And you're like, oh, duh, idiot. Like the Saturday Night Live skit. I don't know if you know move. I don't know if you know it, but, you know, if you don't know anything about mechanics, I remember asking, but I'm like, well, how do I fit? Oh, 
God, don't you know anything about McCaffrey? It's like, no, I don't, dipshit. I didn't, I didn't go to school for that. It's like someone coming up to me, well, how do I analyze stocks? Well, that's just math. So it's worth maybe paying some money to go to a community college. Now, again, you don't even have to go to a community college. There's places like Udemy, coding boot camps. You can go online now, and if you're willing to spend a couple hours a day to watch videos, not necessarily how to program and code, but to understand the layout of the land, the context by which different languages have different demands and they fit into what what their purposes and uses are for in the real world, what the practical applications are for. You could probably teach yourself that as well, but it's going to take time. It's going to take time. So you don't want to just like, oh, our programmers pay a lot or Python programmers, they get paid a lot. Well, I'm going to learn that. Well, do you even know why you're doing that? So <clears throat> it might help to spend a little bit of time in community college. It might help to go to Udemy. It might help to go online. All of it to, to do your own research and figure out, okay, why would I become a Fortran programmer versus a C sharp versus something more database like SQL, which don't, don't fucking tell me it's not a language. I know it's a query language or something like that. Don't you fucking nail your tender. And you wonder why no one wants to sleep with IT geeks. Um, anyway, it, they're all cheaper than going to a four year college. All right? So, what I would do. Is, and you're doing it right. You think you're wasting time. You are not wasting time. You're some poli side economics, now you're computer engineering, but now you think of computer programming. Dude, better to do that now. Better to graduate with a degree that you, you want with certifications in 2022 than graduate in 2021 with a shitty ass degree that you're not going to use and you're going to be forced to go back to school and then you're going to graduate 2029 and you'll be a 58 year old woman with. A master's in public health administration, $100,000 in debt, and it's time to get serious about retirement. <clears throat> and then you're fucked. Anyway, so this is fine. This is, the, this is where you go and explore. But unlike the 90s, well, you should take a bunch of classes and give us more money so that you can become a well-rounded person and know what you're doing. You don't need that. You got the internet. So I would look at Udemy, which is, is it free? It's close to free. I think it is free. edX. Uh, different online tutorials. See, you know, get a book on programming, whatever language you're interested in, and then just see if you could teach yourself that. Maybe take a class or two. But college, if you're going to go the programming route, I'd recommend getting your certifications, getting a portfolio together, mastering these languages without paying tuition. Now, if the California state taxpayer is dumb enough to pay for you and you want to go scope out hot chicks, none of which are going to be in your programming class because math is hard. Oh, why is there a wage gap at uh, but you want to look at hot chicks in the hallway, they're going to the sociology class or the women's studies class or the culinary science class or any kind of math, work, rigor, avoidance degree that they're pursuing. Cool. Go to the community college. Um, but if you just don't want to waste your time going there, like think about this. Like, Well, especially if you're in California, I was going to say the 20 minutes it's going to take you to drive to the community college. In California, the hour and a half it's going to take you to drive to the community college and the hour and a half back, dude, that's three hours you sit in front of the computer and you're going to get light years ahead. Uh, plus, you got to go the speed at which the community college of California operates at, which is... I mean, you, you want to be Lightning McQueen, which is a Pixar reference. Sorry, the kids were watching Cars, which, reluctantly, I have to admit, was a cute movie. It was kind of like, all right, Lightning McQueen is pretty cool. <laughs> um, so, okay, should I wait this long and make it associates a computer program? I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's not bad. If it's paid for, you want to get an associates in computer program, that would be, a, see, that gets you a nice little, like, hey, I got a little bit of education. I do have a degree. I can put it here. But in combination and stereo with that, I would be, one, figuring out which programming languages you want to learn. And here's the something. Talk to, your, talk to your professor, teacher, and find out what they recommend. Like, what are the languages I should learn and why should I learn those? What, what is the practical application? Those two questions right there, your first day of computer programming class or computer, your associate's degree. I think that would be a great, that's a great footing. You get your associate's. So it shows a little bit, okay, look, I can play the sucky, suck, cocky, cock, kissy ass game. Uh, but then you have all these skills that you're, that's where you'd really be working on. Um, and then immediately ask the teacher, like, okay, what's in demand and why is it in demand and should I learn it? <clears throat> and then you do that on your own time because they're going to have you do basic shit that have nothing to do with it. So, 
All right, you guys got questions, go to Asshole Consulting. America's older brother will take care of you, even if you're not from America. If you have money, the old captain will take care of you. <laughs> and um, what else? Uh, I don't know, tell friends and all that. And remember, search Asshole Consulting on vid.me. All my Clary originals will be going there. I'll put them on YouTube as well. But I'm using vid.me as solely an original editorial because I want to get back into that. And then Asshole Consulting just took over my life. Because now it sucks. Now I'm in Silverton, Colorado, driving my motorcycle across the West. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.